Hello, welcome to the second class of the day. So, review uh, this in Primal Perry, uh, written by Joshua Pruitt and Kyle Menke, and directed by Brian Hughes. Uh, Vicky okay, Joshua, and I think, I think Joshua, by second episode, is first from the opener for your right only go um, back. Pretty interesting to follow the writer. So, two half hours in a row. Uh, first time it can happen again. Um, I think at the first two, it's about time and do again and bam together. For well, make you count, um, uh, one vacation, car block, do and drunk on the setter. So, I, I don't. But this is really interesting. So, in this episode, uh, well, First thing at the K from Clyde Track, I had a lot more to K because I had seen it like a bit ago, so I was able to read other reviews and compile my font. For this one, I'm like, let's let the first review out. Yeah, I And I just got it like, like an hour ago. Like, so I might not have a lot to K outside of Bacon. Go. So, First, the plot, um, Doofus McKayan Liam O'Kraken, voiced by, uh, Jesse Spencer, who he hired Chad Perry, a plaza cover, and he, you know, but he goes too far, you know, and he wants to kill Perry, and Doof, night by the dark, and Doofus McKayan and Perry end up getting stuck together, and he decides to hunt the both of them. But Perry doesn't get cat, so do much work of the platypus who is not Perry, Steven. Yeah, now canon. So, and throughout the episode, he's not Steven. In the Phoenix of Earth subplot, Don G worrying about his decision and the effect he doesn't know what what happened. Like, what if he shook a strawberry or vanilla and he can't get by a car? So, Phoenix of vent the infinite probability drive, which means every time Buggy makes a choice, he will create another boundary that do the other swing and he he will happen. And there you go. Now, it actually gets final really out of control. Now, when I first heard about this one, I was more interested in the Finia plot for probability thing. And that rarely happened. Sometimes I'll look at Finia plot and go, Oh, okay, like a magic carpet ride or something. But usually I don't really I'm more interested in the main plot, but here Infinite probability drive. That's a great content. And the King of the Cup Club are both the plot are equally great. And in some episodes, while good as they are, some plot plots aren't as funny as another. Like, they're not equally good. This case, where they're both so interesting that when you cut to another, you're equally entertaining than before. You don't go, oh, at first, you don't really get the And both plots are some really good, really funny jokes. The Boundary plot poem is my favorite. The fact about you getting cloned and making all these winking, and, and in the end, he actually got a talent connect Buford. Also, at one point, if you can get about you Buford too, which proves just how gay they are. And I think it's more or less a parody about it. A parody Doof has to fail or anything, but it's actually, really, actually a really awesome part where Doof and the Blackbird have to work together and create traps to stop them. And the parody has to get on them to stop the death. We got a really great Evil Dead reference. If you ever want to hear do okay, Groovy, the could be episode for you, and it will, I laugh so hard. But if you have a reference, like, like Liam named him Boomerang, and one was named Charpe. Hmm. Yeah. Blah, we're really great moments. And I do like Echo, the song, and weird, like, Bajit's trying to explain how decision can affect your life, so he plays a music video, a trippy music video, with him with techno dubstep and whatever else about decision, and it's about his fun, it's really catchy. And then near the end, the other cloned about Bajit sing the thing beat, and it catches really good song. You know, I thought it was catchy, and they use that half our right. But the other plot, we get to see all of how happened with. Bouncy, and all that can happen with the Plama Cutter, who actually get some pretty interesting backstory. Like, it's not prophetic, but 
Alco, they are in the uh, Danville like, Botanical Garden, which leads to a lot of the uh, And the way they get rid of Black Planner is kind of interesting. So, I do like the tactic of this, and they have to get triangle, and they have to pull it together. And I like the gag of demons, right? There's a lot of really funny things in this one. Actually, one of my favorite parts. The part with Baljeet Lindo, which proves like how canon they are. So, that was really interesting to me. Um, actually, my, actually, my, some people may not like Guide Track because get, some people may feel like picking it off, but this one, the picking is perfect. It's really tight. It moves from one thing to the next. Next, the plot moves along. It used to play well. Get a very good thing possible. They filled it that I found with joke after joke after joke. And they fit in the plot well and mixed it well. All the characters got their spot right. Every plot was interesting. There was a lot of funny moments. Some very interesting plot twins. Well, not twins, but fun plot turns back back. So, I actually might like the form of Guy Track. Guy Track would probably be better due to the character development and the things that are real, but due to just the painting and the jokes, I think this one might be better. But they're both very good episodes, and both do a good job from John Perry. Like, this one felt a bit more at Finney Preferred. But, the cat code is more about Finney Perry and Baljeet. At Baljeet, you know, about his way to the That catchy, it's a really interesting thing. So, I like that code like this, where the concept alone is kind of interesting, and they do everything you thought they would in more combo than you could imagine with that kind of Sometimes, most of the time, You'll be like, oh, what could that actually do? Boom. But times like this, you're like, oh my god, what could they possibly do? And they do exactly what you think they do, then more fun. So, we got a lot of really good jokes out of it. I've loved the bounty plot with him calling himself and making all these choices again. Canada kicked up a bit here. And I actually liked how it made an impact. Canada, you know, like other episodes where Canada just like, or oil on Canada, when parents pop up, hey, I can get by. Candace still can chat about it, they get a good joke off each other. And she can impact. So it's not she's there because she needs to be there, they had a few jokes over there. And she will not use she won't use one, so that added to it. So we're all gonna ready up go. Might be the best of me get now. Like Skytrack if you want a flea episode, go to Skytrack. If you want a funny one, go to this one. It does kind of come up down with yeah, this fucking XP, but as you expect, I guess that could not be you. Not as special World Five Chance, but I honestly liked it more. So, every character went well, and there you go. Well, Plant the Day Out goes right there. Um, I rely on kind of the front person to get her from the point of view out, so. But Sky Chance had many when I did mine, so. Check the car off, rely, think I didn't give for. Now, I can't talk about the credit team for the one because I didn't get to see it, but it didn't get He, um, I, I got up like, got like 15, so I didn't get it all. I, I was recording on the DVR, so I didn't get it all the way. But, so I didn't get the credit team because I didn't record that. But the re airing the episode later, so I think then I'll get on to watching it. I don't think I'll do a video about it or anything like that, but I'll just stick with it. So there you go, I give it an A. I kind of tried to name my answer, this one's a fair thing. It's really good, back to joke, good plot. We use that time well, and it was a good carry out so. I hope we'll watch the gap go many times and and the game to be one of them got go where when I watch other times I know that small quirk I didn't know before. And I love that book like that, which is like eight of them. No overall great the code. Code, um check it out. Happy plot of the day. We have that code, um I don't remember I think it's nearly end of the month. And it, yeah, it can find kind of girl one to call. See you then talk about that. But I'd like to see you later talk about other shows. So, yeah.